going beyond the needs of your own school. Remember, I said your own school. So start thinking about your school. How can we help schools in the rural areas progress to bridge to digital divide? I think uh, I need not discuss too much on it, but before I throw this question to one of the panelists here, there was a research which happened somewhere in 1960s or even before that. And this research actually decided uh, in terms of the finance part of it, whether you are part of the privileged section or the underprivileged. The haves and the have-nots. So those who are rich, haves. Those who are poor, have-nots. A research was taken another 20 years later and then they decided to again go for another question and then the haves and the have-nots. Again, the haves were those people who were computer literates. And the have-nots were those who were not computer literates. So obviously, when you look at literacy in terms of digital transformation as the striking factor to decide whether you are part of the privileged section or the unprivileged section, you will be able to understand what the question says over here. So how can we help schools in the rural areas progress to bridge the digital divide? So you may have done a lot for your school, but how do you help those schools who are still struggling with digital transformation? I am going to invite uh, Ma'am Deepa Balasundar to wander over. Thank you, sir, for giving me the chance and good evening, everyone. The question is, going beyond the needs of your own school, how can we help schools in the rural areas progress to bridge the digital divide? See, I can say in uh, Aurangabad especially, uh, at least 40% even in our school is situated in the rural area. But being a CBSE school, being a CBSE school, we have a very good supportive system from the, through the CBSE. I can say we have the hub of schools, and we have the Sahodia, Sahodia, Sahodia panels and everyone. And each and every, every principal among us, we help each other and we gain knowledge from each other. And we have started with a particular strategy even during pandemic also, during the digital classrooms and everything. When it comes to the digital uh, proficiency in the, the rural areas, rural areas where we are in need even today, even after the pandemic also. Uh, but the thing is here, I would like to say, we have to inculcate the authorities. The authorities include, it includes the higher authorities like the principals and the teachers we have to, if we inculcate them how to make use of the digital uh, digital things. Uh, see the thing is, now, nowadays each and every one of us, we have the mobiles. Mobile is the minimum need and minimum requirement each and everyone has. Only the thing is we have to give them a proper platform how to use it. If we are inculcating the teachers of the rural areas, how we will inculcate? We can go for the virtual meetings. We can teach them how to go for the virtual meeting. We can start with the virtual meeting. That gives them the confidence how to handle the meeting first of all. Then we can inculcate the students through the parents. If we are inculcating the students along with the teachers, if the child is able to see the teacher online, the child will not make that, it will not make any difference for the child and definitely for the rural area people, it is, uh, it will be a wonder wow factor I can see. So if we are inculcating the entire team of the school, it is not only the principals, not only the teachers and each and every one, uh, how to use the virtual platforms, then it reaches the student in a very proper way. Because each and every one of us, we have the 4G mobile now. Each and every one, irrespective of the rural area, irrespective of the other areas. So we have a rural, we have a digital facility, but the thing is we are, uh, we just want to teach them how to utilize in a proper way. And we can, we can inform the, we can just uh, tell the students how to use uh, the YouTube classes, I can say. And if the, if the child, if the teacher is able to reach the child in a proper way through the virtual classroom. So we even see, even
even we, uh, the, the CBC schools and everyone, we face the problem. As uh, Ganesha said, we were not knowing about Zoom at all before the pandemic. We were not knowing anything. We just know how to access the Facebook. Nowadays, we have started with the other access also. How to access the WhatsApp? Only we used to send the messages to our, only to our family members and to our teachers, that's all. But we reached till broadcast. Yes, the same thing we have to take the initiative as a CBC schools, that is, as a, the, that is, we can say the technology, we have to take the initiative and it takes a little, they are in need of the push up from our side. They are in need of the push up from our side, definitely even they will be knowing and they are very keen to learn. It doesn't mean that they don't want to learn, they are very keen to learn and they are in need of a proper supporting system, definitely even we can give. If we are giving, if we the teachers and we the, the that is we the teachers for the modern technology, we, whatever we learned already, if we are just sharing our knowledge with the other schools, the schools in rural areas, definitely even the student will come to know. And parents, when they have the thing, they, they are in need of proper, they are in need of a proper platform.